Hi friends, this is Suma from softwaretestingmaterial.com. Today we are going to see the frequently asked manual testing interview questions. I have been asked these questions in most of the interviews that I have attended so far. How do you design the test cases? We do pick up the test cases from the requirement documents. We do write test cases based on a black box test design black box test case design techniques such as equivalence class partitioning, boundary value analysis, decision table, state transition or error guessing, state transition and error guessing. Using these techniques we could write the test cases as well as reduce the size of the test cases. What do you mean by reproducing the bug? What do you do if the bug is not reproducible? Let's see what is bug or defect. If there is a variation between the actual result and expected result, then we call it as bug. Earlier we have posted a video on the difference between bug, defect, failure and error. Check it out to get more information. Now let's see what is reproducing the bug. Let's take two cases where we need to reproduce the bug. Case 1. You have found a bug while testing and posted it. If the developer is unable to find the same bug on their environment, then they will ask you to reproduce the bug. Case 2. If the client if the client found a bug on the production environment, then they will inform us to fix it. In this case, as a tester, we have to reproduce the bug in the test environment. We all know that sometimes the bugs are not consistent. In the above two cases, if we are unable to reproduce the bug, we just mark the bug as inconsistent or close it temporarily with the status not reproducible or fixed. When do you perform regression testing? Let's see what is regression testing before looking into when we perform it. Regression testing is defined as the repeated testing of an already tested program after modification to discover any defects introduced or uncovered as a result of the changes in the software being tested or in another related or unrelated software components. Coming to the actual question, usually we do regression testing in the following cases. When a new functionality is added in the application and when a new change requirement is accepted and modified the application based on the change requirement when a defect is fixed, when a performance issue is fixed, when an uh, environment is changed. What is difference between smoke and sanity testing? Smoke testing is done to make sure if the build we received from the development team is testable or not. It is also called as day zero check. It is done at the build level. Sanity testing is done during the release phase to check for the main functionalities of the application without going deeper. It is also called as subset of regression testing. It is done at the release level. Smoke testing is performed by both developers and testers, whereas sanity testing is performed by testers alone. Smoke testing exercises the entire application from end to end. Sanity testing exercises only the particular component of the entire application. Smoke testing build may be either stable or unstable, whereas sanity testing build is relatively stable. What is Requirements Traceability Matrix? Requirements Traceability Matrix is also known as Traceability Matrix or Cross Reference Matrix. Requirements traceability matrix is used to trace the requirements to the tests that are needed to verify whether the requirements are fulfilled. 
give me an example of high severity and low priority an issue which won't affect customers business but it has a big impact in terms of functionality for example crash in some functionality which is going to deliver after couple of releases uh, there is a crash in an application whenever a user enters four digits in the age field which accepts maximum three digits what is the difference between validation and verification validation is the process whether we are building the right product that is to validate the product which we have developed is right or not activities involved in this is testing the software application verification is the process to ensure that whether we are building the product right that is to verify the requirements which we have and to verify whether we are developing the product accordingly or not activities involved here are inspections reviews walkthroughs what is the difference between test strategy and test plan test strategy is a high level document and usually developed by project manager it is a document which captures the approach on how we go about testing the product and achieve the goals it is normally derived from the business requirement specification documents like test plan are prepared by keeping this document as base test plan document is a document which contains the plan for all the testing activities to be done to deliver a quality product test plan document is derived from the product description srs or use case documents for all future activities of the project it is usually prepared by test lead or test manager list out test deliverables test deliverables in stlc are test strategy test plan effort estimation report test scenarios test cases or scripts requirement traceability matrix defect report or bug report test execution report graphs and metrics test summary report test incident report test closure report release note installation or configuration guide user guide test status report and weekly status report what are the types of acceptance testing and who performs it firstly let's see what is acceptance testing acceptance testing is also known as pre production testing this is done by the end users along with the testers to validate the functionality of the application after successful acceptance testing formal testing conducted to determine whether an application is developed as per the requirement it allows customer to accept or reject the application types of acceptance testing are alpha beta and gamma alpha testing is done by the in house developers and testers sometimes alpha testing is done by the client or outsourcing team with the presence of developers and testers beta testing is done by limited number of end users before delivery usually it is done in the client place gamma testing is done when the software is ready for release with specified requirements it is done at the client place it is done directly by skipping all the in house testing activities what is bug life cycle bug life cycle also known as defect life cycle in software development process the bug has a life cycle the bug should go through the life cycle to be closed bug life cycle varies depends upon the tools used and the process followed in the organization what are the principles of software testing 
there are seven principles of software testing first testing shows presence of defects exhaustive testing is impossible early testing defect clustering pesticide paradox testing is context depending and last absence of error fallacy thanks friends if you have any queries please comment below if you did enjoy this video be sure to like the video please subscribe for more videos thank you have a good day